<laughs> Alright, what is going on Tube? It is your boy Super or Smalls or Alfie, you already know what's that. Paw Ball, baby, and we're back again with yet another video. Uh, no girls in today. I haven't been feeling like putting them in, but uh, let's get into it. Box from Adidas, Tamper Everything Tape. Kind of low-key looks like it's been tampered with. But, I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully it wasn't, and let's just get into it. I'm pretty excited about these. Um, I've seen these off of Kix deals, CA. So again, if you ever want to be up to date with stuff and just want everything curated and you got Twitter. Nothing else in the box, so box away. Uh, first and foremost, I got these Adidas reflective socks. So these are pretty cool. I know Monster Banana has these, so I seen her have them and I'm like, yo, these are pretty cool. Kind of want a pair for my own. 3M material. Pretty psyched about that. To get into it, bang. A Stan Smith, as you can see. Now, I've never bought Stan Smiths before, but I don't think they come in this box normally. Like one of these, one of these. Again, don't call me, I never owned a pair of Stan Smiths. But I think when I see them at outlets, that's what they look like. They come with a dust bag. They go premium touch. That's nice. Never had a dust bag before. Pretty cool. I think it's my first shoe that came with a dust bag in a while. Besides like the Yeezy 750s. They each come individually wrapped, as you can see. A little more on the premium side. This is what the paper looks like, by the way. As you can see the like brownish, light beige. And the other one, all nice and wrapped. And dust bag gang, as you can see. Pretty cool, nice like felty material. A pull tab right there, that like lace material. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, very nice premium box, like that glossy finish. Trifo logoing there, three stripes there. No bottom branding, as you can see. Label right there with the Trifo logo on top. And they are the bang Adidas Stan Smith and the Swarovski colorway. Before I get started, it's the regular tagging you get on basically a lot of Adidas shoes. So as you can see right there and right there. There it is. So it's essentially your regular Stan Smith, but as you can see the back detail right there, that detail glistening and gleaming. So on the back, you know, you get that, you know, your normal green Stan Smith logoing. As you can see, it kind of protrudes out as well, like just the, that leather. Leather does, and then it's all crystalled out and bedazzled and stuff. So I think that's really cool. I've always wanted a pair of Stan Smiths, low key, and they're always you can always get them for pretty cheap. But uh, I didn't really want like I kind of wanted to be different, I guess. And this is pretty different. Um, if you at first glance like oh it's a regular Stan Smith, and if the sun hits it probably, the light hits it probably, boom. Right there. And then again on the Stan Smith logo, all crystalled out, which is insane. Pretty cool. Um, and then the other only difference, um, minutely, is here. Adidas with a trifoil logoing with Swarovski crystals. Um, and I think the leather is a little bit more premium than your normal Adidas Stan Smith. Um, but again, if you haven't seen a Stan Smith, I don't know why you wouldn't. This shoe was like super popular like four years ago. This was like hype, hype, hype. I think the midsole, it might be a little bit more off-whitish on this pair too. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'll put a little picture right there, as you can see for comparison. Nicer leather. I won't say it's like the nicest leather I've ever seen. Endorsed by Stan Smith and Swarovski crystals. The back, Stan Smith right there, all glistened out. Three perforated lines, this uh, insignia the three stripes. Um, again, your off-whitish midsole, and on the bottom, the regular Stan Smith um, bottom. Got Adidas logoing right here with the trifoil. And then again, the only real difference, aesthetically really, is that tab on the front. Midsole right there. You can see like silver lace tips to match the silver on the front. I didn't know what size to get, so I also got a size nine. I've seen places say that you could go down half a size, you should shade your true size, or you can go down a full size. Somebody was comparing it to Converse, and like with Converse, I go down a full size. So this is a size 10. I'm gonna have a size nine in here. But it's about both sizes, and then I'm gonna return whichever one doesn't fit me as good as I want it to. So yeah, um, they say it's a really long shoe, as you can see, and I think it does look pretty long. I'm hoping the nine works, or the 10 works. There's no nine and a half. So my true size is 10, I was gonna go down to nine and a half. I mean, I'll let you guys know how fit works for me, personally, give me one sec. Okay, we've reached a hard verdict with concrete conclusion. For me, going down a full size works. I'm gonna say this is like a Converse for me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but again, Stan Smiths, I'm pretty sure are everywhere. I know that Adidas likes to stop making them for a while, they bring the hype back, and then when they release them again, people buy them again. But for me, a nine works perfectly, perfectly. I didn't wanna cut off the tag, so I just laced it to for the very last one. And my right foot is bigger than my left foot, so I think once I lace it up to the top, um, this will work perfectly. It's pretty snug. It's very snug. It's, you can feel, I can feel it. So she said on my right foot. Yeah, for me a nine is perfect. This is a very long shoe. Laced up pretty tight too, so I kind of loosened it a little bit. As you can see, this is 
the uh, factory and this is just me opening it a little bit. I say if you don't know and you want, you're just ordering them online, you're not going to the stores, you go down to full size. I, I see this like Converse. Um, I'm happy that I went down to full size because a 10, definitely it would have like creased like right here, like right here. Cause like it just it's just a very long shoe. So if, if it's up to me, if I'm given to say, I say you go down to full size um, and that should work perfectly for you. Your foot will be encapsulated perfectly. If I just got a 10, I would be creasing it right here because it's a little long and that's what people say this is a pretty long shoe. Aesthetically, I think it's a really cool shoe. Um, it's just a normal Stan Smith, but you get a little bit of glitter and bedazzle with you know the crystals. So if that's something that you know you like, you like a little bit of flash here, um, be a little bit different. I say go with it. Um, these were 160 Canadian, so a little bit of a price increase, but I, I spent a lot of money with Adidas, uh, have been on this quarantine, so I got like a 20% off, 25% off coupon. But these ended up being like 127 after tax, so I'm not too mad about that. Regular Stan Smiths in Canada, I think are 110, if I'm not mistaken in Canada, so I mean, 50 bucks for some crystals on it to make it a little different and pop. Especially, I wanna see how these work in the sunlight. I'm really interested in how these work in the sunlight. That one's Ortholite, as you can see. These might be a little special. So yeah, regular blue Adidas box, regular Stan Smith, this side, and then you have your uh, Swarovski Stan Smith on this side. The tongue is more padded on the regular Stan Smith, as you can see. On the Swarovski Stan Smith, is like a flat leather tongue. Regular Stan Smith, the leather is much more firm, as you can see, not a lot of creasing. And then on the Swarovski Stan Smith, as you can see, creases a lot more. It's very, it's a lot softer. On the regular Stan Smith, it's just a white sole, you know, pure white. And then here, it's more an off-white. Traction is the same. As you can see, again, just the off-white color being the difference. On the lace tips, on the regulars, you don't get any silver. Swarovski, you get the silver, and no front tab with the Adidas Swarovskis, you do. Um, again, the back, obviously, the difference being the uh, crystals on the Swarovski, and there's the regular right here. But this is an Ortholite sole, as you can see, the Ortholite logo in there. So this might be a little bit different from your regular set. I mean, it is your different from your regular Stan Smith. Again, my new differences, so if you're looking for a regular and want to save some money, definitely, you're not really missing out too much. If you can get an Ortholite one, even better. Um, but again, if you want a little bit different, or how it looks with flash on, I'll show you guys too. A little bit different from everybody else. And, you know, shell extra 50 bucks. You get a little bit nice leather too, so if leather is important to you, get a little bit nice leather, but you can't go wrong with either or. I can just feel how much softer this leather is, how much more real it feels on the Swarovski. Again, not to brag, but these ones just feel a little more, you know, just firmer. I mean, these might not crease a lot too, so crease is a big factor for you. And just go with the regular ones, because these ones definitely will show wear. As you can see, already are. They came out the box and they're already kind of showing wear. So yeah. Again, not too much to talk about because they are, you know, just our regular Stan Smith. But let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Adidas Stan Smith with the Swarovski crystals down below in the comments. Do you like the shoe, but not the colorway? Do you like the colorway, but not like the crystals? Let me know all down below. I'm about to hit you guys with the info. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed. That was that news of the Adidas Stan Smiths with Swarovski crystals and your boy. Paul Wizzle is out, baby. Peace. I'm not going to drop these because I don't want the crystals to fall out. Later. Peace.